Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. Between Facebook, my coaching business, and my YouTube channel, one question I keep receiving in some manner or another is, do natural testosterone boosting supplements work? I intend for this video to be my definitive answer. First, when I look at the human research on three of the most popular testosterone boosting herbs, I find that they have no effect on boosting testosterone values at all. For example, Tribulus terrestris does fuck all for testosterone. And the same goes for Tonkat Alley, Nada, Zilch. And fenugreek actually appears to lower free testosterone by 10 to 17% within a four to eight week period. And they sell that shit for the purpose of boosting testosterone. You're essentially paying a supplement company to fuck you over in more ways than one. Now let's imagine for a minute that a natural product actually does what it claims. I know, I know, just humor me. Let's look at ProSource's popular $50 Andro test product, which contains Tribulus Terrestris and Tonkat Alley. And based on their own, yeah, you heard that right, their own randomized placebo-controlled double-blind clinical study, it is claimed to boost free testosterone by 59.75% on average, but as high as 218% in some users. First, recall what I mentioned previously about Tribulus and Tonkat Alley. They do not affect testosterone values in human research. So this product appears to be full of shit right out of the gate. But if we ignore that glaring issue and simply take the label claims on face value, what would an average boost of 59.75% really do for you? The normal range for testosterone in healthy males is about 270 to 1,070 nanograms per deciliter, with an average level of 679 nanograms per deciliter. So, let's say you're an average healthy guy, and your testosterone levels fall around 679 nanograms per deciliter, and you receive an average boost of 59.75% from this supplement. Your levels would rise to about 1,085 nanograms per deciliter, which would pop you just a hair over the top end of normal range. What would that really do for your body composition and sex drive? Because I imagine that's what you'd be buying the product for. Well, this is where science comes in. Research has demonstrated that within the physiological normal testosterone range, muscle growth does not vary much at all. Perhaps just a tiny boost in your mood, and possibly your libido, the higher you go within the normal range. In other words, those in the low end of normal won't build muscle with any significant difference to those on the higher end of normal. In fact, statistically significant muscle growth isn't even witnessed until the top end of the normal range is surpassed by 20 to 30 percent. In other words, you might begin to notice a significant increase in your muscle building capacity anywhere from 1,284 to 1,391 nanograms per deciliter. Thus, no natural testosterone booster is likely going to do that for you. Unless you were an outlier in both your natural T levels as well as a hyper responder to a product. And that would be incredibly rare. However, increases in testosterone within the normal range do appear to have a significant effect on body fat percentage. In fact, fat mass was 36% higher in those with testosterone levels at 300 nanograms per deciliter versus those with 600 nanograms per deciliter. In conclusion, you won't build muscle from any increases in testosterone values within the normal range. You may only witness a small boost in your confidence and libido and a significant decrease in body fat percentage the higher that your levels are. My advice? Save your money. Skip on gimmicky supplements and focus on improving your hormonal and overall health through diet, exercise, and proper sleep. All of which are subjects I've discussed time and again in videos in this channel. And if you suffer from below normal testosterone levels, which can lead to significant problems in your health and quality of life, again, skip the SUPS and seek out medical advice of an endocrinologist. Anyhow, do stir up dialogue below and let me know what you think. And please like and share this video if you found it informative so that others may benefit and prevent themselves from being swindled. Finally, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep on top of my content updates. Otherwise, till we meet again.